Okay, I'll be making a lamb cry today uh, using lamb shanks. You saw me uh, or you will see I've had them cut uh, to small sizes rather than keeping them whole. And the cry dish is a very, very favorite dish towards the border of Afghanistan, uh, Punjab, uh, and you know, Indian Punjab and Pakistani Punjab, as well as northern part of India. And it's a very staple diet used on a regular basis and very, very popular. So I hope to uh, show you, you know, how, to, how that's done. All right, my lamb shanks are in a glass dish there. In that, I'm going to be one good, good spoonful of ginger paste. And one good spoon of garlic paste or garlic and ginger. And just marinate it all in. The meat is now marinated. So for my masala, for the kari, I'm using peppercorn. Uh, one teaspoon and a little bit. Uh, cumin seeds, about uh, two spoon, two and a half spoon, because I've got quite a lot of meat in there. Coriander and Same thing again. About I'm done. Four spoonful. The spices have uh, changed color a little bit, and they should start jumping about. As the spices are almost done, changed color. I'm adding the fenugreek seeds, uh, leaves to it, the methi leaves as I don't, don't want them to burn. My dry, dry roast spices into the pestle. As I keep on saying, I wish you could smell this. It is absolutely wow. I've just grounded the roasted spice. I just grounded them as they were hot. You can let them cool down and then do it because the fumes can be a little bit overpowering sometimes. So much, you know, as I'm quite used to it, I just couldn't wait to let them cool down. So I've done them. Plus, I think when they're a little bit warmer, they grind better than cool, cool down. So that's my uh, masala done. Nice uh, wide cooking pot, cry, whatever you want to call it, for this dish. And into that, I'm putting roughly about two to three teaspoon. I'm a little bit conscientious on the oil side, so that's probably a spoon and a half, maybe tap more. I don't want to put too much in. So that's that. The oil is nice and hot now, but not burning. To that, I'm adding my lamb shank pieces, which has been marinated in garlic and ginger. I left the water a bit behind, I didn't want that, I got a little flatter even more. Okay, my lamb shanks have been cooking for about 3 to 4 minutes and they change colour slightly and at which point I'm going to start adding my onions. Quite a lot of onions because there will be a little bit of gravy sauce to this. So that's the onions in there. Uh, tomatoes. That's uh, one big tomato. That was a quite a big tomato that was. So that's that. And to which I'll be adding about uh, teaspoon of salt and about half a teaspoon of turmeric powder maybe just tap more okay it's now been cooking for about five to seven minutes now it's time to add my ground spices so here it goes all in there all of it I'll chuck it in and to which I'm adding some uh, Kashmiri chili. It really is brighter than normal chili, the Kashmiri chili, and not so hot. It's almost like a sweet type of taste from the Kashmiri chili. And that's that. Mix it in. Add about half a cup of yogurt.
Wow, the smell of this. <laughs> I think it's gonna go through to the next door neighbor, through the wall. That's how it smells like. My chocolate fresh green chilies. In there. A little bit more water. Put the lid on, keep an eye on, cook it to medium to high heat for roughly about 20-25 minutes. Keep an eye on it, depends on the meat, how tender the meat is. So for the moment, lid on and see how it goes. Well, it should go okay, not see how it goes. Adding some of my chopped coriander and the fresh ginger. Okay, now my shank's been cooking for roughly about 40-45 uh, minutes just before I bring off the stove. A little bit of coriander, sprinkle on the top and, and I save some ginger just for garnishing on the top. And that's that. Shanks now ready. I'm serving it uh, with a plate of brown rice. Because at the moment, I'm not eating too much bread. And it's also brown rice is a healthier version. But my Punjabi cousins, they'll be mortified to see rice with karai because for them, it's roti and roti only. So here I go. There's a couple of pieces. It's just oh, <laughs> lovely. It tastes super. For a second, I thought I may have put too much coriander pods in it, but now that it's cooked, it's all together. It's oh, it's 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 it's, it's, it's fantastic. But the thing is, though, I really wish that you guys could smell this because the whole house. I went outside to pick the kids up from school. <laughs> As I drove <laughs> near to the house, I can smell it from outside. Oh, poor neighbors. Hopefully, they like curry. <laughs> but, yeah, lovely. Give it a go, and you know, in, in, cooking's all sort of like experimenting. You know, you add, delete. You might not like what I put in there. And you might like something else. So yeah, give it a go. See what you think. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Yeah. Oh, that's here. No, that's here. No, mm. that's here. Over here. Um, no, that's no. here. No, delicious. How do you say delicious? Yeah. Welcome everyone and uh, this is my version of sag paneer uh, where I've chopped the spinach instead of uh, blending it and you know try it for yourself see what you think and if you like it please leave a comment and share this video thanks very much